Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video, I'll show you how you can create interactive images in SharePoint. I'll show you how you can add layers and add tooltip link or embed YouTube video when you navigate over a specific zone of the image. Okay, let's move forward and I'll show you every step. Here I am on my PC and I have this SharePoint team site in the browser open. I'm creating this new modern page product roadmap. My team is working on a new product and I want to create in the body of this image a nice interactive image. As probably you already know, it's not possible out of the box realize an interactive image on SharePoint. In order to reach this goal, I will install two apps coming from the SharePoint store. At least a SharePoint admin is required to install and set up this solution. If you don't know how to do that, you can ask to your admin in your organization. Now I will click in the top right corner on the wheel icon here. Then I will click on add an app. Finally, I can jump on the SharePoint store. And I have to search these two apps in order to have the solution up and running. So basically we have to install an image editor and then we have to install a SharePoint framework web part. Okay, let's search for the image editor and this is called, this app is called image maps. This is the app that show up image apps. As I say, this is a powerful image editor. Let's click on it. And then you can follow every step by clicking on the button Add it. I already performed this step. Now we have to install the second app, which is a SharePoint framework web part. You can search for image map. If I jump in the second page, I have available this second app called image map without S. Clicking on this app, I'm able to request to install this app in my SharePoint site. Once you install these two apps, you are ready to go with this solution. Let me jump now in the site contents of my SharePoint site. Along with these two apps, there is a new picture library that show up called Image Map Background. This is the data source of the image editor. I will click now on this picture library because I want to upload my picture. I will click on upload and files and finally on this picture that I already have on my desktop. Now this picture is uploaded. I will select this and then I can click on here in the command bar. There is a new button available called image a map. Let's click on it. Okay, here we go. I have my picture here available. I can start now to place some layer on it. I will select this ellipsis because here I have circle. I can start now to sketch my ellipsis. Then you can adjust this ellipsis. And finally, clicking on here on the tooltip style, I'm able to decide the opacity to the position. I want to show up this tooltip on top. And then you can adjust some configuration with auto width. Now I will click on tooltip content because I want to add elements in this panel. Here I have this text. I will remove now this text because I want to embed a YouTube video here. In order to do that, you have to click on the tab elements and then drag and drop the YouTube icon in this area. Now I will pass the a YouTube video that I already have here. Here we go, all good. Now I can close this panel and here we go. We have now this YouTube video embedded in the tooltip panel. Okay, now I want to reuse this layer. I can click on this ellipsis and then here on layer I can duplicate this one. And then I can just drag and drop this ellipsis layer on the second circle. I can do the same for all other. Here we go. Now I want to set a different content here. Okay, now I will click on tooltip content and then I will delete this YouTube video because I want to add a button now. Okay, clicking on the button, I'm able to adjust the text. 
and I can just add a link. Here we go. And also this panel looks okay. In the third one, I will add just text. So I will remove this one, I will create a new area, and then I will drag and drop just text here. Clicking on Lorem Ipsum. Okay, all good. Perfect. I can close now this one. And I have now just text in this other tooltip panel. Now I will save this image. I will click OK because the image already exists and the file is successfully saved. Now I can jump back on my page product roadmap. I can edit this modern page and I can add this new web part that I installed called image map. Here we go. Here I can easily edit the, this web part and the property panel show up. The source is correct, it's the new picture library. I have just to adjust and select the new picture that I uploaded. So now I can just republish this page. And here we go, now the, this interactive image is here loaded. I can go over the first circle and we have this YouTube video embedded. Hi there, welcome to Microsoft Teams, a collaboration app that helps your team stay organized then I can go over the second one. I have this button with this link, more info. This opened the link that I added, going back. And finally, on the third one, I have just text. Now my product roadmap looks gorgeous. On the website of the company that has created this solution, you can check several licensing options by clicking on the pricing link. All right, that was a quick tutorial how you can create interactive images in SharePoint. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below, I read them all and this is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!